I just wanted to start off this video by thanking you all so much for the 1,000 subscri- I'm sorry, what? How- 100? Oh! Um, okay, uh, God, thank you so much for the 100. Three? Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, today we are talking about my 1,000 subscriber goal celebration uh, a little late, as well as my 100,000 subscriber goal. I just wanted to thank you guys and explain why I never made a video, I guess, talking about it and thanking you. Also, we'll be doing it while I paint this guy, and if you don't know what this is, this is my 1,000 ant illustration that I've been working on since July of 2017. It is now uh, May 2018. So, let's get into it. And thank you. So just like any YouTuber out there, I was so excited to hit 1,000 subscribers. I had been posting videos for about six months at the time. I was having so much fun with it. I was having so much fun streaming. I loved communicating with you guys. I loved making videos. I loved how it made me get into drawing. It was keeping me on a schedule. I loved everything about making YouTube videos and I was so happy to see that a thousand people also enjoyed watching me make videos, which kind of blew my mind. All these years I've been posting my art online on social media and I've never had more than a hundred watchers, I think. So suddenly going on YouTube and getting 1,000 subscribers was just, it was crazy to me. So when I hit that 1,000 subscriber goal, I was just so excited. I thought it would never happen. I made a Q&A, but I wanted to do more because I was so excited for those 1,000 subscribers. I wanted to do something crazy. It just felt so big to me and I thought, you know what? I'm going to draw one ant for every subscriber that I have. So I'm going to draw 1,000 ants. And thus this drawing began. I went out and bought the biggest piece of paper I could buy, making sure that it was, of course, within a frame size so that I could frame it. And I thought it was going to take me a year to make this drawing, but it was something crazy that I wanted to do. I wanted to celebrate this 1,000 subscriber goal. In the intro, I said I hit 1,000 subscribers in July. It was actually August, whoops. So I started this drawing in mid-August and I spent the next few weeks streaming it and just talking to the chat because when you only have 1,000 subscribers, you can have a nice little conversation with your viewers. We were having so much fun working on it, talking about it. I was taking suggestions from the chat because there's only a few people talking, it's easy to do. I was having so much fun talking to the chat and working on this piece and I really think it represents, and I know how cheesy this is, just the whole YouTube community that I feel like I have here. We are all just having fun. We're from all over the world. I've got ants that represent different countries. But after a couple of weeks of working on this, my teeny weeny challenge video blew up and I went from 5,000 subscribers to 100,000 in two weeks. <laughs> for today each ant represents 300 subscribers and after I went up to 100,000 subscribers it seemed like the excitement for finishing this illustration had passed and I kind of forgot about it for many months. I don't think I started working on it again until maybe February of this year. I'm not really sure. But I definitely put it off for a while because once Inktober came around I know I didn't work on it then so it's been quite a while. I seriously thought 100,000 subscribers was years away, which is why I said I would do a face reveal then. I wasn't mentally prepared to do one so suddenly, which is why I put it off for so much longer. But with each passing 100,000 subscriber milestone, I feel like I missed the opportunity to celebrate, so I wanted to push myself to finish this piece. Plus, in general, I just really don't like having pieces sitting around not completed. It really bothers me, and why not push myself to finish something, right? 
And just like my 1,000 subscriber goal flying by, when I got my play button for 100,000 subscribers, I opened it up on stream because I got it while I was working on the sketchbook slam challenge during a stream. And I was just so overwhelmed with work and I think opening it up during a stream kind of confused me and made me think I opened it up in a video, but I didn't. So I felt bad about that. So be sure to look for the robber ant carrying the play button. There are so many hidden references in this illustration. I just love it. Just like any other ant illustration, there's just so much to look at. I feel like every time you look at this illustration, there are things you didn't notice before. And that's just what I love about these ant illustrations. So of course, making an ant illustration that has 1000 ants is going to have a lot more to look at because my normal ant illustrations, I think have 50 or so ants. So this is quite a bit larger than my usual eight by 10 ant illustrations, which is what I love. I just love doing things that just make people go, whoa. I just really like to do crazy things with my art. What can I say? Oh, and before I forget, this illustration is 20 inches by 25 inches, which is 51 by 63 centimeters for all you people that aren't in the US. Yes, I am American and 75% of my audience is American. So using inches is only natural and makes sense. Anyways, moving on. So among the references, there are stuff like YouTubers like Doodle Date and Drawing with Waffles, trends from Dabbing to Bob Ross, references to my past videos like Starbugs and my Cactus videos, and the fact that I used so many suggestions from my subscribers when we were streaming and just taking little suggestions from you guys and chatting. I think there's a lot of memories and stuff in this illustration and that's just what I love about this piece. It just feels so personal and like, it's like we built it together. It's very cute. In the center of this illustration, I put me as an ant sitting at my old desk with my phone set up and ready to record because this is back then when I used my phone in this janky little phone holder to record on this janky little desk I used to work on. Of course, when I started this illustration, that is what I was using. So it's really fun to look back at this illustration and be like, oh, look how much I've grown. Even back then, this was such a huge goal for me. And I thought I would never be where I am right now. So finishing it with the original pencil and the ideas that I had back then are just, it's so fun to look back on. And because this was my celebration for 1000 subscribers, I wanted to make sure that this was a party. Why else would I have 1000 ants here that represent my subscribers in one room, right? And you can't have a party without a table of food, which I think might be my favorite part of this illustration because I don't know about you guys, but when I go to parties, I use it as an excuse to stuff my face with all the junk food, all the chips, all the pizza. I also thought it would be fun to put a gallery on the back wall as a reference to some of my more popular videos. I don't think I would be where I was if it wasn't for those videos getting as much traffic as I did, especially my teeny weeny challenge video. So I definitely wanted to reference that part of my YouTube channel and my videos and stuff. So I recreated the thumbnails and put ants on them instead of my characters and stuff like that and pretended it was a gallery. And all the ants in the back of the room are looking at it and admiring it like it's a gallery or just looking at it and just, I don't know, talking about my YouTube stuff, I guess. <laughs> And because I'm an ant in this world, my hands in the thumbnails are also an ant hand thing. Some of the bigger suggestions that I got were the ant conga line, which I really love in this illustration. It appears three different times in this illustration as the ants weave through the crowd. And also I can't take credit for this, but the Daft Punk ants in the back where everyone's having a party. I'm not sure if Daft Punk themselves was the suggestion or if someone just wanted there to be a party in the back. But either way, there's a party and I just love how crazy it is back there. I especially love the ants with the red solo cups because you know those ants are going to get crazy. It's not a party without alcohol, I guess. Is it? I mean, Mario Party doesn't need alcohol. And that's definitely a party. Also, can we talk about that breakdancing ant? That is a pretty good ant, which also is a reference to a previous ant illustration. I believe it's the one in the backyard. There's a breakdancing ant. So anyways, I just wanted to make this video and finish this illustration in sort of a dedication to all of my subscribers and everything you guys have done and just a big thank you and hang it on my wall and to think about where I am and how I got here and all of my hard work and just to keep my mind in sort of a thankful place for where I am. 
I don't normally say those kind of weird things, but anyways, thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this ant illustration and I'll see you in the next video. I am so excited to finally finish that drawing because it has been in the works for months now. I also want to hang it up and replace with this Pokemon poster here. So let's do that. Bye bye Pokemon from memory. Yep, I think I'll burn it. Okay, let's hope this goes down well. I mean, I hope it doesn't go down at all. <laughs> okay, I hung it. There it is. Good job, me. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, including Michael Young, Zach Abstract, Lex CS, Shelby, Megan, Chris Side, Davey Tomato, Cool Guy Josh, Mina Blix, Hey Lucy, Eddie, Mackenzie, Maureen A, Pi, Loganites, Maya, Leah Shibutani, Africa, and Dad. If you want a shout out at the end of my videos, access to my sketchbook, coloring pages, and more, become my patron by clicking the link in the description. Thank you all so much for the support. Bye!